what you know what time it is? It's time for news and rumors, but I really want to see how low Titans tickets are. News and rumors. That should be for next year. Like just me and you go. Dude, don't think I won't record me and you and then have Tommy like beatbox it, put some bass underneath it, and we can sing like news and rumors. Ow. Okay, so the t- okay, this is not news and rumors, but like the Titans, like for their Christmas Eve games, tickets are still uh forty five dollars. Forty five dollars. This showed a picture eighteen minutes before the game. There were maybe fifty to sixty people in the stadium, so it's a fucking high school stadium. Eagles ticket could start expensive, but we're also in the playoffs as of twenty five minutes ago. How's bragging camp going there, Mike? Ooh, the Eagles are in the playoffs. Blah blah blah. That's because the, the Eagles can Philly Philly specials cheese have, uh, decent teams. Whatever. Whatever. This is your segment. I know it's my segment. I'm just curious about oh, it's because um uh, it's the Seahawks playing the Titans, not that you know, whatever. Pete, Pete Carroll's goodbye tour. Maybe they won't try against the Rams the two times we play them. The Giants. Yeah, or the Giants. I don't know why I said the Rams. Uh, fucking fantastic. And if we win tomorrow night, we take back first place in the East because the cow bitch has lost today. News and rumors. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. First thing on my list is Sean Ross Sapp. Sean Ross Sapp. No free shout outs. Heard that Kenny Omega had been ill throughout the last week, including before his match on AEW collision against Ethan Page. Omega was later hospitalized and diagnosed with diverticulitis after seeking medical attention, uh, wishing Kenny Omega uh, good wishes, even though. Yeah. Did you love him and he's your hero? He's not my hero. But diverticulitis, oh, he will be next year. diverticulitis is real shitty. Yeah. It's no what, pun intended. Yeah, it's almost what KO'd Brock in real life. Yeah. You see? Mm-hmm. You see I mean, I hope no ill will against the guy. I hope he has a speedy recovery and can get back to doing what he loves. So um I, I'll I'll talk about Kenny Omega later in the episode when we get to some of our year in review stuff. Um but uh yeah, well wishes, dude. You never want somebody to be out, especially when it's something like this. Diver tubiculoctus. Yep, that's it, Tommy. You know that that's exactly what we said. Well, that's exactly <laughs> how you spell it too there, buddy. Yep, Good job. Diver tubiculoctus, ladies and hey, gentlemen. Hey, look, he was close. I'm starring that so I can go back to it later. <laughs> um, also on people being out, Charlotte Flair is out of action with three different injuries, all of them surrounding her knee. It is not a good situation, and nine months seems like a generous estimation for her return. Um, she's going to be having surgery over the holidays, uh, but she has a torn ACL, a torn MCL, and a torn meniscus. That's oh. a Bailey injury. That's what she did. Yeah, I put Bailey on the shelf for almost a year. Yeah, she was gone from SummerSlam to SummerSlam, so almost a full calendar year. Um, nine months would be a generous time. Uh, that's a football injury right that there. Is a football injury. <laughs> yeah. Um, I hope she gets better. This is one of those, this is a career altering injury, not a career ending injury. Um, yeah. I think that if she comes back how, uh, healthy and she monitors the knee and goes through PT and gets the stuff done as, I mean, we saw what Adrian Peterson did. He came back after an ACL tear and was a totally different monster. You know what I mean? So it's all about how each athlete recovers. Um, Scouse has already put the prediction in Rumble 2025. That's not a bad call. That'll give her a year plus to recover. So I can be on board with that. Yeah. Happy healing to Charlotte. I know that's devastating. She uh, posted on Twitter or no, on her Instagram on Friday, like when the announcement was made, she just posted a broken heart emoji, like a feel real bad for her. Like, and that injury was brutal. Like, I don't know like how it exactly happened, but like, it was that last move with Asuka before the commercial break. Her foot got caught up in the top rope when Asuka, like, pulled, leaned back for them to, like, fall. So, um, Liv Morgan was arrested on drug possession and paraphernalia charges. Uh, 
as everyone says when they are arrested with drugs, she claims they weren't hers. Uh, WWE has suspended her for 30 days for violation of their wellness policy. I didn't think that marijuana was um, <coughs> one of their poo-poo things. This is the thing about it. And that's a lie. Oh. Well, you know what that means. Um, in Florida, since it's medically legal, mm -hmm. if you get caught with it out, let like so much, like cops have really been cracking down. If she says it's not hers, I'd like to know if Bo Dallas is just growing it at his house or where I can get some. Hmm. I forget that she dates Bo Dallas. Yeah, like Bo Dallas. Like it's not mine; it's my husband's. Like there you go. Like. But I thought WWE took a lenience. I thought they ruled that out. Like, it's now just a fine they pay and not a, like, because I know that Orton's been very open about his marijuana use. Yeah. And he, pay, he pays the fine up front because he knows when he gets drug tested, he's going to pop for it. So he pays the fine. Yeah. Uh, let's see. There could be punishment. Uh, poor sports Skeeta. Uh, they're saying that there could be other punishments, including suspension. But I guess she hasn't. She hasn't been suspended yet, even though I mean, technically, she's still out for her injury. Yeah, but the arrest is where I think that if she does get suspended, that's more where the lines along probably the suspension will come. It's like, yeah. hey, you can smoke it, just don't get in trouble and she broke a cardinal rule she she pulled an rvd and a sabu yeah and it cost rvd the ecw title at the time yeah so they just got busted with it what's up ozzy solutions good to see you i'm looking at the penalties in the wwe corporate thing uh first violation if whether or not alcohol or tobacco or alcohol or marijuana is involved if you are arrested for it and you break a law your first offense is a 30-day suspension okay so, so that's the way it's written on their i'm looking at their yeah, website yeah. Right so now. it's probably something that might be coming but maybe since she's out on injury it might not so i think uh nothing official yeah no i think that it was just a misleading headline because her first violation if she's found guilty uh, for a for breaking the law, including a substance, even though they don't test for w in WWE, if she breaks a law and it includes a uh, like a drug charge, illegal substance, bingo, she can face up to a thirty day fine. Second offense is sixty days. Third violation is uh, can be terminated. Uh, so I think it was just a miswording. But she can face a thirty day viol uh, thirty day suspension for her first violation. Yes, it just hasn't been made official yet. So and, it, it, and she should if it's like she signed the contract. She knew the she knew the, right. the it's, the way it it's is. not for the yeah. weed. It's for the arrest. Bingo. Yeah. That's what that's the, the bigger takeaway. Like, yeah. yeah, they're not worried about the weed. It's the fact that she put herself in a position to be arrested. Yes, that's the yeah. bigger question. Um. Thank you, Scouts. By the way, that I'm glad that we could correct that live. That's cool. I like when uh, that happens. TK announces the ROH women's TV title, meaning AEW slash Arena of Honor will have two women's mid-card titles to WWE's zero. <laughs> WWE <laughs> losing the innovative edge. Is WWE losing the innovative edge by not having one yet? Yes, they need a women's mid-card title instead of shoving every woman in that locker room into a dumb made-up tag team because that's the only other belt that they can go for. No need to apologize, sir. You were right. We were we were wrong in the wording of the headline, um, but corrected. Uh, Liv Uso is a hilarious take. Um, I think that's an apples to oranges comparison, though. Um, yeah. And Bo's pissed off for greatness. I kind of touched on it there. The women's TV title in, a in AEW Ring of Honor until they can properly book that women's division and make those titles mean something. It's just another title at this point. Uh, they've got that one coming. They've got the, uh, what, what did we call it? The ICUPI 95. 
Um, no, it was the IHOP dot com 9572 oh yeah it was the international house of pancakes i-95 yeah, ic title um there it is <laughs> but they've got like 36 different belts now um in uh aw so another belt doesn't make more it just means they have to worry about booking more now so yeah i'm lukewarm on the ring of honor ti titles right now anyways yeah uh, the December 25th episode of Monday Night Raw is expected to be a best of show with the uh, with the Wrestling Observer noting that noting an executive at WWE told them that this is accurate to their knowledge, even though it hasn't been announced by the company. Um, I do know that they do not have a show on December 25th. You can check Ticketmaster and everything else. So they're not doing an actual episode of raw or they're gonna or they did a pre-tape with there would have been tickets for that so i guess they're gonna do a thing you think um, they'll do one of those end of the year things i think that's probably what they're gonna yeah. do they're waiting for us yeah. to do ours and they want to see who we pick and then they're gonna be like okay now we're gonna do something we've got an idea of who will bow and yeah. i yeah. so <laughs> it's fair um influence in addition to that uh the on December 20, they will also tape the December 22nd episode of SmackDown this past Friday. So they so Friday's SmackDown for this week will be a pre-tape. Yeah, we knew SmackDown, NXT, all of those were getting pre-tapes because they gave them the week off for Christmas yeah. and stuff to do with um, the family. This isn't on my news and rumors, but I did see this headline earlier this week, and I forgot to put on news and rumors. Uh, but Triple H has said that they are going to start giving more home time to the wrestlers. I don't think that's a bad call. Work no, like balance either. is important. So Work I think they're going to. Yeah, I think they're going to stop because before you know they would do a show on Christmas. So mm -hmm. I think they're going to stop maybe doing shows on holidays. Not a bad call. I can. No, I don't that. disagree. Um, according to Fightful, Diana Perazzo will become a free agent on January 1st, and she wants to explore her options. So. Bo, you got anything for uh, Diana? I just hope she doesn't show up in Ring of Honor and get lost in the shuffle. I think she's shooting for WWE. I think she thinks she's a viable option for NXT and uh, mm -hmm. to move back. Now that she's got some, she's went out, she bet on herself leaving NXT the first time going back. Um, Scals agrees. I want her in NXT or WWE. I think if she leaves Impact, that's where she wants to go. Yeah. Then we can have her versus baby. <laughs> Ooh, we can have I her versus Lyra. Oh, yeah. You did get to meet her. How was it? It was real quick. She was very nice to take a picture of me. Uh, she took a picture of you. Oh no, no, no. she! I took a picture with her. <laughs> she's she like, she's oh my she god, are you both? Picture of you and Nicole. Hey, can you take her picture for me? Uh, hey, hey. By the way, before you go back after Russell, will you, will you snap this? No, not of me. And you, just me and her. Yeah, take All a right. picture of us at the show. That's cool. I'm happy. Deanna will do good no matter where she lands. But I think it's time for her to go to WWE and. Uh, go back to NXT and eventually the main roster. Yeah. Yeah, her and Chelsea Green would be. They were a tag team before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Seth Rollins' WWE contract is up June of 2024, as is Becky. However, per Fightful, while they haven't started talks on a new contract, WWE is expected to make re-signing Rollins a priority, but still not your match. Seth Rollins is one of the biggest stars in the world. It makes sense that they yeah. make him a priority. But they Drew's contract is up before. Agreed. Again, though, Seth is a bigger star than Drew. Uh, I think what we're seeing now and I think it may have been Fightful who wrote this originally, but a couple people have had this same sentiment. In 2019, when AEW started, WWE went through their roster and re-signed a ton of people to big deals and long-term 
um, long term plans. And a lot of those were three and four and five year deals. And we're seeing a lot of those come to fruition and end now. Mm. Uh, so these are a lot of those AEW signings where they signed people immediately to con extended long term deals. And now they're coming to an end. The open market for pro wrestling free agents is about to be wild. Mm -hmm. Crazy crazy nfl free agency will be nothing compared to wrestling free agency next summer drew will be spoken to i think they already have discussions and they are keeping it hush hush uh letting him lay into the angle of being a pissed off bad guy because he can't get his money is a great play sign him to a long-term deal under the table and don't tell anybody and let him keep leaning into it like they're doing with mjf and AEW. yeah um pw insider notes that there is a lot of happiness among talents in MLW after they heard about the settlement with WWE. <laughs> they also say Court Bauer told the locker room that announcements are coming and they plan to run shows more often in 2024. Uh, cool. I'm all about MLW having a chance yeah. to do more shows. I like competition in the market. It's good for business. Yeah. Is tonight the end of it? Uh, the 17th? Yes. And then December 20th is the Wednesday. That's when everybody, like, that's the first dynamite after all the, the non competes are up. Um, sweet. This week could start being interesting as early as Wednesday then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On the rumor and innuendo show, Nick Hausman said that he is aware of multiple indicators that things are not going maybe as Tony Khan has projected publicly and i would not be surprised to see aw and warner maybe part ways next year on top of that multiple outlets indicate that warner brothers top priority by far is its negotiations for the nba tv rights and everything in wrestling comes secondary to that if warner brothers spends a ton of money on the nba that could take them out of the market for wwe's raw for raw's hefty asking price uh you want to go first bo or you want me to go first oh i also sorry one other thing um it to mention this as well cw and warner brothers um with both of these deals um wwe's new deals do not include brand exclusivity so the deal that they signed for NXT for CW does not prevent CW from still going after AEW. So they did not make them sign an agreement that they will only show WWE wrestling. Their well, deals no longer include that since Vince McMahon is gone. Well, considering the NWA is on their app. Right. Like, well, no, I'm just saying like that is officially like. Yeah. Which, you know, goes with that whole Endeavor buying uh, the TNA Plus app and mm -hmm. NWA being on the CW with NXT. Sure does seem like we've been talking about N NWA and Impact being in bed with WWE since like fucking August of last year. Yeah. Maybe somebody will listen to us eventually. <laughs> Maybe. Eventually. Maybe somebody will listen to us eventually. I think the non-exclusivity... If I said that word right, non exclusivity, um, exclusivity. I got you, Bo. Um, is is a factor in it. <laughs> you, we could possibly see Friday Night SmackDown followed by AEW Rampage on the US of A network. I mean, I'm not mad at that. That would be so fucking cool, dude. Like, we there's like this 2024 in wrestling is going to be an extremely Shocking and jaw dropping year, I believe. It's gonna be a lot of fun as a wrestling contracts fan. are up, streaming server or right television rights are up. Like, I didn't think you would have told me 2024 would be like a, a shift in wrestling, but I feel like we're gonna have a shift. We're gonna, yeah. Um, so that was the end of news and rumors. So, if we would like to uh play my intro, please. Oh, play your Run intro. It. <laughs> run, run the fucking intro, Will. Run the intro, Will.